Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Rags to Riches series. Last episode, we did a lot. We uh, harvested every field, uh, pretty much. We harvested, we seeded, we bought the seed hawk. We did a ton of stuff last episode, guys. Now, in this episode, we're going to be making some changes. Um, if you look to our left, we're no longer going to keep the seed hawk because it just simply doesn't hit all of the fields. However, Brian, a big part of the community here, Brian Mellinger, uh, he's a member on YouTube as well as a patron. He uh, sent us a DB120 planter. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. All right, guys, as you can see, it's the same exact 48-row DB120 planter, the John Deere planter that we've been using. However, this one has the capability to plant and seed all crops that Brian was nice enough to edit for us. So... This is a game changer. Basically, we're going to have two of these guys. Uh, we'll have one for our fields that we, we need to double up on equipment anyway. We're also going to sell the other one and just change it to this one. It's the same exact price. I'm not going to record that. We're just going to do that off camera. Um, it's going to be the same exact planters, except now that they can plant every type of crop. Huge game changer. Uh, it won't miss any of the fields like the seed hawk did, uh, but I will go ahead and buy this, 381 k and we're also going to sell the seed hawk to get money back for that now our total is at 200,000 there it is now what I'm gonna have to do is off camera real quick for you guys I'm gonna have to empty out the seed hawk because we do not want to waste all that seed and fertilizer now I will see you guys after I have also traded up the other planter for the new upgraded same planter but of course the modded one all right, guys, catch you in just a moment. All right, guys, so I completely forgot. As you can see, there's some weed growth right there. And as you can also see, we have a third-person camera now. What's up? Basically, I went and got our Patriot, our Case uh, 350 Patriot. I filled him up with some herbicide, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to set him up to weed the fields. I just wanted to show off our third-person camera and let you guys know that we will have equipment running in the background as we're setting up the farm and as we're getting done what we need to get done today. All right, guys, I'll see you after I go upgrade the other John Deere planter, and then I got a special treat for you guys this episode. All right, guys, and as you can see, we're in the New Holland tractor with a load of TMR mixed food for our cattle because. I'm going to hop out here and show you guys they are at zero food, zero health again because we have zero mineral feed. So what I did, if you look to the right here, I bought the uh, multi-fruit buying station recommended by some of you guys to get as well for better priced mineral feed. Now, we have plenty of money. We have 428000 but I just want to see after we unload this uh, mixture of food here how much that will cost us. So I'm going to go ahead and unload the feed, and I'll see you guys when I get over to the multi-fruit buying station. All right, guys, so we're at the multi-fruit buying station. I went and grabbed the Mac Daddy to do this, uh, the Big Mac truck. And I just want to show you, I've went through this, and there is no option for mineral feed, which is what we need to buy. There's wheat, obviously all your basic crops with the game. You can buy TMR, which we may do anyway, um, but there is no mineral feed. There is only the base crops. You can buy everything besides mineral feed. So what we're going to do, I guess, let's go to the shop. We're just going to have to pay up you know what i mean uh we may have to push back as far as uh getting your surprise which I, i'm sure many of you know what it is at this point uh but i'll see you guys at the shop we're gonna load up on mineral feed and then we need to eventually uh, sell off a bunch of corn because as you guys know we have half a million liters worth of corn that'll really help us monetarily and all right i'll see you guys once i'm loading up on mineral feed all right guys we've arrived at the sell point for mineral feed i'm hoping i can find we we may in the future a uh, few episodes we may find a mod that can we can make our own mineral feed that is something that we could do but this one i'm pretty sure yeah look see mineral feed Let's start. Oh my God. We're only going to spend about 100K, but holy crap. Watch it just tank. We're going to stop around 300. That's insane. So for 14,000 liters, 24% of our tipper trailer, it was $132,483. Guys, I don't think we can turn a profit with that. that that's kind of crazy. Uh, I'll see you back down by the cow barn for when we unload this 
I mean, 24% of our tour trailer are mineral fees. That's crazy, guys. Crazy. We definitely need to look into making our own, for sure. All right, guys, special delivery cattle. Cattle, special delivery. Very nice. Yes. All right, well, they at least have some mineral feed now. Now what we need to do, guys, is we need to do just a mass, mass shipment of corn. Now, I did download uh, some trailers that Brian made for us and, and adjusted and stuff. And I also got recommended some from, I believe, uh, people on the comment section. I haven't been able to go through the comments as much but what we're going to do basically instead of doing two truckloads at a time 60,000 liters we're going to download one real quick that is about 250,000 so let me hop out of the mac daddy let's hop in the old peterbilt and what we're going to do is we're going to dump this back in we're going to move these guys out of the way so let's dump the corn back in as you just saw about 60,000 liters or so is what we can hold in these tipper trailers nowhere close to what we need and I'm only one guy. So, let's go ahead and get rid of this. All right, let's move these guys out of the way. And then let's ease on in and let me go download that mod and I'll catch you guys in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the trailer we've decided to go with. As you can see, it has that chromatic gold cover on top i think that is absolutely sick it has two underbelly under or underbelly unloaders here and i got the chrome looking blue aesthetic to the sides as you can see it can hold five million liters yes that's right m million not thousand million liters so this is literally all we'll need for our massive corn hauls honestly we can park this on the side of the cornfield and it can just be covered up and just chill so let's go ahead and buy this bad boy, and I will see you guys when we go pick it up. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the new Tipper trailer. Check that out. It's got the fire extinguisher on the back. We are DOT approved. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, look at this beast. It's so long and massive. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway uh let's take a quick thumbnail and then we're going to get back on the farm and we're going to load this bad boy up so i'll be back with you guys in just a moment all right ladies and gentlemen we've arrived at our silo storage let's go ahead and grab all of our corn as you can see we have 539,264 liters of corn and thus let's start loading look at that it's not even touching it a few moments later and we're halfway there two thousand years later we're almost there guys 380 390k now this is taking forever <laughs> eventually ladies and gentlemen we finally did it and as you can see it looks like we barely have anything in this tipper trailer but we in fact have 539,265 liters of corn in here but the, the capacity on this thing is just so crazy at 5 mil that it's not going to touch it. So now I will see you guys up at the sale point. Let's go ahead and put our cover back over the tipper trailer. I'll see you guys at the sale point, and we're going to make us some money. Real quick, it is April. Let's see if that is the best time real quick before we do so. Corn. Uh, let's do show price difference. Okay, it's April. We're, we're up there with the top, and we need some cash. So, let's go ahead and tag the place. I know it's at Cooperative, so we know where it's at. I'll see you guys at the sale point to dump this corn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Our money, our bank balance, rather, is sitting at 202,458 bangers. Let's go ahead and hit the unload button. Is there any way that I can watch this? Aha, here we are. Check that out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give us a close up. All righty. Wow. We had $761,748 worth of corn that was just sitting dormant in our silos. That brings our total up to $964,206. Big boy 
banger dollars. Now, this prompts the purchase of a new tractor. That is why I was wanting to sell the corn so bad at the beginning of this episode because let me go over to the tractor tab and let me get it configured just right before I show it to you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we're going to purchase the John Deere 8RX series 458 horsepower dual track tractor here that you guys have been wanting to see. For a while now a lot of you guys want also a Steiger type John Deere tractor with tracks that'll come later as of right now I want to get a John Deere kind of regular setup tractor this way uh, with the front and back axle like this and two tr dual track coming in at four hundred and five thousand five hundred dollars we have the 8rx 410 engine the 24 inch belts for our track and the three point attacher on front and rear this is our next tractor guys i hope you are ready and that you have been excited for this i know it's been about two episodes delayed worth let's go ahead and click that buy button four hundred and five thousand dollars right there it is all right let's hop out real quick let's just admire its beauty here let's turn off the hood ladies and gentlemen look at this beast wow finally a new john deere tractor on the farm now i know exactly what i'm doing i'm going to take our old john deere tractor i'm going to put it beside of it and as a thumbnail, we're going to be like the old John Deere finally grew up or something. You know what I mean? I think that would be sick. And we can also see just the sheer difference in this tractor and that tractor. Now, as always, we're going to listen to how it sounds. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to look inside at it. All right. Let's go ahead and start it up. I'm going to be quiet for a moment, and I'll have the editor up the volume of the engine. <laughs> can't really hear it over the truck can you? it's a little on the quieter side it's a little on the quieter side so don't worry about that let's take a look at the inside first let's turn on the lights i suppose front lights back lights tail lights and the top lights oh yes that's awesome now let's take a first person view all right check that out Got the little passenger seat there. There's the steering wheel turning. It's got the little screens for us here with all the data. Little cup holders everywhere. There are cup holders everywhere. I dig this tractor. All right, let's take it a swing around here and then we'll also do the third person view. Uh oh we're getting some lag check that out guys watch those tracks let's go that is what I'm talking about alright guys I'm gonna get this back down on the farm I'm gonna set up for that thumbnail and just admire how far we've came since our second John our second tractor I should say uh, the John Deere 6300 that we ever had on the series I'm going to also get the uh, the Peterbilt and the Tipper trailer back down on the farm, and I'll see you guys once we have everything lined up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back on the farm. Look at the size difference. Look at the upgrade. Check it out. The past with the present. The 6300, or I guess the 6405 in our case, because we did end up upgrading our 6300 to the 6405, but to the 8RX check that out guys that is awesome is it not now we are going to keep the smaller john deere i'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights uh we're going to keep the smaller john deere he's just going to be stored in the workshop as kind of like decoration um, because we simply don't have any use for him anymore he he's simply too small um if we get get any small jobs we will use him again uh we'll just keep him around keep him in the workshop uh, but as far as this big guy, he's going to get a lot of hours, a lot of work. Um, as of right now, we don't have any work until we sleep, until there's stuff that needs to be harvested and or moved. But we do 
have a bunch of wool and cotton that needs to be moved. So I'm going to go pick all that up and I will meet you guys at the spinnery so we can go ahead and start uh, the production of clothes, among other things. Ladies and gentlemen, load number one has turned into a bit of a mess here. I don't know what is going on with those pallets on the side there. Let's pull past those. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've just pulled into the scene here. And it's going to already take our wool, just like that. I'm going to do a couple of trips here. And I'll see you guys once we have fully transported all the wool that we've harvested thus far. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The second and final load for today of wool getting deposited into the spinnery. Now what we need to do is we're going to park this right here and we are going to move our cotton bales up here of what we've harvested thus far which i believe is like maybe eight bales or so there's three right there and then there's i believe five down here so i will see you guys when we have gathered these up and when we have transported them and we're depositing them all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see we cannot use our normal baling trailer that we use for silage bales hay bales and the like to load up our cotton bales it simply won't allow us to do so so we had to go purchase and finally purchase a 53 foot flatbed for the old peterbilt now let's go ahead and check out the controls here how do we turn it on okay the b key seems to do so let's go ahead and push these other two bells into it how much can i load here only like five at a time it looks that way you know they're huge wow all right let's uh i guess we can strap those down there we go i'm not sure how to unload let's go ahead and go up the hill here and pick up the other three if we have room we may only have room for like one or two more all right here's the other three let's see how many we can get we might be able to get them all there we go we were let's go ahead and make sure they're strapped down now we need to do a u-turn here right in the field a little bit and make our way up to the spinnery so we can unload. Hopefully it just accepts them. I'm not sure how this tipper or this uh, this flatbed trailer works in terms of auto load. The other one has uh, controls. All right, pulling into the unload point here. Will they just automatically unload? I guess not. Maybe if I hit the B key, maybe if I hit the Y key. Yep, it's the Y key. It's, it's just like the other one. Okay, cool. So now we know how to operate it. Let's go ahead and pull in there. Accept it. Nice. And I believe we reset it. We'll go ahead and pull this trailer over here for when we need to use it. And we'll also have to grab the gooseneck trailer for when we need to take pallets of bottled milk. Now, while we're here, let's hop out of the Peterbilt. Let's go over here and let's just see what's up. Let's see how much we got here. So... It looks like it has a max capacity of 145,000 liters of cotton, which we have 73,000. It has a maximum, same for the wool, except we have 39,000. So two wool makes one fabric. And then uh, how do we, why won't it show us cotton? Is it two cotton? Is it the same? How do we, so I need to activate these and do yeah so we need okay here it is two wool one fabric let's activate and then fabric cotton five cotton for three fabrics so let's go ahead and activate that one and then oh you can do a mixture wait 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 deactivate please hold up two for one five for three or five and two for ten so three four wow okay you get a lot more, I think, because you're using the same amount, but you're get, instead of getting four fabric, you're getting 10 fabric. So, I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? But we're going to have to up our sheep production for sure to keep up as we expand our cotton. So, if you guys have a mod recommendation, I'm looking at Brian, Corey, uh, Whitney, all you guys that give me great recommendations in the comment section and or please post them on the discord that's the best place honestly if you're a part of the discord link in the description it's where we kind of hang out give me some recommendations on a good sheep farm uh as well as 
yeah, I think that's all the recommendations I need at this point. Also, a good chicken farm because I do want to expand our chicken production. Now, clothes, we need to activate clothes because it's going to take five fabric to make four clothes. And it's already starting. Cool. And then we can... Do we want it to change to spawning? Yeah, let's do spawning. There we go. Dang, it takes 115,000 liters to make a pallet. Oh, no, 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 no. I got that wrong. A thousand, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do this. We need to focus on sheep and cotton as well, which I do want to extend the fields. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go grab the good old John Deere, and we're going to, I believe we have enough to do so, we're going to buy some more land to extend our cotton field down the line. I'll catch you guys in just a second. All right, guys, we've grabbed our plow with our new John Deere tractor. Now what we need to do is we need to buy the farmland to extend, which will be field 19, a.k.a. field 15 by the map graphics. Let's go ahead and hit the buy button. Clickety-clack. That brings our total down to 481,000. Now we just need to line up and get the time lapse started. And I'll see you guys after we have plowed up this new addition to the cotton field. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that field has been extended. We will seed this and plant it up after we harvest that cotton right there because course play, the way it works, it will not just do, you know, half a field. It will redo the whole entire field. Now, that being said, uh, we are coming upon the ending of this episode, but I do want to get the tractor back to the farm first and wash up less implement. I do want to say that in the ending here the episodes will be getting a little shorter obviously this one's going to be i would say pretty short compared to the other ones uh we have hired an editor and i'm going to give them a lot of control uh and a lot of but i'm also going to you know maintain the core of why you guys like this channel as compared to other fs22 uh channels you know we're still small um things will change who knows they might not be a good fit they may be a great fit and you guys may like their editing style you guys will have to let me know i'm going to be taking recommendations from them on what we can improve on what we can do differently you know just some different uh things here and there and i do want to line up the tractors here and get a little shot of the tractors let me park this implement beside the pressure washer and let's get a little we have a white red green and blue tractor and let's go ahead and line them up here let's get a let's get a cool little shot here all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see before you we have every tractor besides the very first tractor of the farm all i have not repurchased it but we have every tractor since our second tractor all the way up to our most recent with the John Deere tractor. Besides the case that you're looking at right now, check that out, guys, in the ending of the episode here. I walk down the line here. Look at those magnificent beasts. 
Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Get a shot from the back. Get a shot from the back. That's so cool, guys. See how far we've came equipment-wise, what we got going on. Let's get a little screenshot here of these guys as well. I think that's a pretty cool picture. All right, guys. Um, in the outro here, let's go ahead and end it in the new tractor. I want to thank everybody for watching the video today. Uh, the videos are going to be getting shorter, but also today I need to put together a home gym. I also want to make some separate videos, such as top five mods I use, top ten mods I use, some more searchable content for you guys and new uh, subscribers alike and if you have not already please smash the like button i would greatly appreciate that as well as clicking that subscribe button if you have not already i believe we're like 60 40 people are not subscribed to subscribed so if you would i would greatly appreciate it hitting that subscribe button where our goal right now is 10k we're so so close to 5k over on tiktok be sure to also hit the follow button there as well even though i'd greatly appreciate it if you come over to youtube where the main content lives now on tiktok we have 32,000 followers there that is absolutely insane in these four or five month period that we've been doing this I appreciate everybody following, subscribing, liking, becoming a part of the community. We now have a community Discord set up, as well as we have two community servers. Link in the description to the Patreon to get access to those. If you would like to play with the community, we have a console community server set up, and we have a PC-only server set up. Uh, consoles can play with PCs on the crossplay server. Really appreciate you guys helping me get that lined out last night on the live stream. And as always, I'm Jay, and I will see you in the next episode of the Rags to Riches series. Also, real quick, at the end here, word of the day. The word of the day is going to be, hmm, let's make it wool. W-O-O-L. Since uh, we've already used John Deere in the last episode and Cotton in the previous episode before that. That's going to be it. We're going to wrap it up. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.